Hey there, Rob and Corinne here. Welcome to Threadheads. We're here hanging out in Chicago at the Green Festival, one of the largest ego gatherings on the face of the planet. My name is Kevin Danaher. I'm a co-founder of Global Exchange and also one of the executive co-producers of the Green Festivals. We are now in five cities. We're in San Francisco, Seattle, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Denver. And the fact that this hall is packed, we're probably going to get over 30,000 people this weekend, it blows people's minds. They actually get chemically high from seeing, wow, the future actually exists right now. We just have to accelerate it and cooperate more and get it all together, and we'll make the transition to the next economy. I like to cycle. I like to cycle. We are from Small X Clothing. We do uh, vintage inspired designs from the 1940s to the 1970s in all organic, non toxic dyes, and everything's made in the United States. Um, my grandmother was actually um, a seamstress. She did a lot of uniforms for the soldiers in World War II. So it sort of ran in the family. And I've been sort of searching, and my sister's been searching for clothes that we can wear to work and wear out and be really cute and fun, but still be environmentalists at the same time. Hey, look, it's Mike the Monarch. So I'm Davidson with uh, Green Guru Gear. We make a bunch of bags out of recycled and reclaimed materials. Uh, some of those different materials that we use are old billboards and banners that we take and we cut up and we look for colors and graphics. This was actually a hamburger. Um, so this is the cheese, this is some of the burger, and I think that's probably some of the bun. Um, I grew up working in bike shops and I became very dissatisfied about how this uh, connection to the outdoors was kind of disassociated by all the byproducts of cycling and adventure. and you know, go through all the bike parks just on a regular basis. So I started bringing home bike inner tubes and sewing them together, learned how to sew at a young age. My mom, only only child, so that was fun. And kind of one thing led to another, sewing other materials and um, other fabrics together and making different products. We have a lot of products made that are made out of recycled materials, such as um, these are made out of the waste from food packaging and these are made out of tire rubber fused with hemp and then these colorful ones are made out of plastic bags that have been collected off the streets of India by a women's cooperative that didn't have work before so these bags are made out of um, out of film that is done, taken from light checks when they do a movie particular movie and so they're really positives not negatives so you can see them upright well it's definitely time to get the heck out of here I think I've done enough damage to my bank account but we will be right back with a lesson from a very special forum member. Stick around. Once again, you are wrong. How am I wrong, Lloyd? You are trying to ruin the moral fiber of America. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Hey, what's up? So one of the things that we really love to do when we come to a new town is visit some of our forum members. So we're over here at Mama Sass's house. Y'all know Mama Sass. We're gonna go inside. Hey, Threadheads, come on in. Mama Sass actually came from my roommate, Melanie, after she uh, said something one day and I agreed with her, but instead of saying, oh yes, Melanie, I agree with you, I said, mm-hmm, and she responded by saying, well, okay, Mama Sass. And then there was a day when I saw the, the Threadbanger logo and I clicked on it and I looked at it and I was like, oh my goodness, oh, here's Threadbanger. So I uh, just got addicted to it and started writing stuff on the message boards and getting inspired to make more things and now, well, here we are. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how to make one of my famous button necklaces. So first you're gonna need a bunch of buttons and a hammer, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, some nails, a necklace chain, and a block of wood or a hard service. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your buttons and you're gonna bend the pin part back. It looks like this. And then you're going to take your, your wire cutters and you're gonna cut off the pointy part very carefully. After you've cut off the point, you just wanna flip it over, punch your hole, your nail on the opposite side. They're a little slippery, so you gotta find a way to hold it on there. And then you'll have your hole. Depending on how long you want your necklace, you're going to puncture about 20 of these. So just keep hammering away until you're done. Now that you have all of your pins with their holes in them, you're gonna connect them. 
where you're gonna just put the wire from one of them into the other so that they're layered on top of each other. Take your needle nose pliers and pull the wire over and that will lock it into place. You should be aware that, I mean, even though the point is gone, it's still, it's still kind of sharp. So you want to make sure that you actually get that down as far as you can. Once you have them all connected, the, you're going to poke a second hole at the button at the end so that you can connect your chain. And then just add your second necklace piece and you are done. So there you have it. You have a new pin necklace that uh, uses up all those extra old pins you had lying around the house. Thanks for coming to my house, Threadheads. See you on the forums. All right, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the Janome Sewing Machine Contest. We received an insane amount of entries this time around, but there can only be one winner. Hi, my name is Lacey, otherwise known as Lucille on the Forum. I need a Janome sewing machine. Well, I sewn and sewn and sewn all day. It turned out as bad as Donald Trump's true pay. Oh, I can't think of what to make. I'm so afraid I'll produce a mistake. Cause there's only shows on Tuesdays and Fridays. Whatever happened to Halloween Wednesdays? And finally, Don't fret, if you didn't win this time around, there's still more sewing machine giveaways to come. Keep watching the show for your chance to win. Till next week, see ya.